Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond. We're still looking at the Junior CTF uh, Capture the Flag game and competition that went on uh, last weekend. Um, Alright, so I wanted to showcase this uh, other challenge in forensics. It was a 500.1 called The Good, The Bad, and The Junk Man. Um, so, no real prompt here. I cleaned up the store recently and now some stuff is missing. I think it must be somewhere here. So, um... I'll show it to you here. You can download this thing. It's just a RAR file. Um, now, in my case, when I was working with this, I actually had some trouble being able to like download it and get it to extract. So, we'll see if I can get it again. Once you have it downloaded, I'll just I use the archive manager to be able to extract these. And it's taking a little bit of time to download. 14 seconds, 13 seconds, blah, blah, blah. So what I ended up doing, because I couldn't get it to extract, I honestly even just tried using some like online converters, and I converted it to another file format, and then I was able to extract that way. So if I can't extract it, I'll just, again, showcase what I what I had done. But you can ex try and extract it here. And, okay, so yeah, par an, an error curdle extracting files and parser filters is unsupported. So I probably have it jotted down what I actually used. CD cyber write-ups, online CTF juniors, the good to bad ejectment. So I had used an online converter here, which you're totally reading the solution, which is just fine. But I'll showcase it to you anyway. I used an online converter to convert files here, and I think I was able to download it there. Okay, so no, they deleted it. But yeah, I just used this dwconvertfiles.com, <laughs> seriously, and I could just convert it to a tar, and I was able to archive, uh, extract that. So, so it saved into this thing. So I would CD into that, and that has Google. So there is a bunch of files in here. I'm assuming like Chrome configurations bunch of user data and stuff from here, which you can look through by hand if you really wanted to. Chrome cleanup tool. Uh, crash reports. There wasn't anything in there. Cleanup tool. Chrome cleanup tool. And there's some stuff here if you really want to look through that. Um, what I ended up doing was because I was too lazy to look through all this stuff was I created a simple while loop. First, I just f ran find, so I have the list of all the files in here with an absolute path, or like I'm sorry, with a relative path with a dot slash, and then I would I would I would loop through every single one of them. So while read line, as I loop through all those outputs in each individual line, I would do strings on that line. And it would literally take the strings of every single file that I saw. So it looks like a bunch of nonsense when it's scrolling by. Um, but what I wanted to do now is I can grep for flag. And I use dash I to make it like case insensitive. And there's a bunch of stuff here again. Uh, so what I ended up doing in that case was I concatenated, or I, sorry, I appended it to a file uh, that I ended up calling like all flags.txt. That's what you saw in uh, the folder above me, or the directory that I that, it, that is above me. So, you can see it there. What I ended up doing was now opening that up and taking a look at it more definitively. So I'd look for flag, and there were about 221 matches I could see down at the very bottom. So I honestly just looked through these one by one, and I just hit the enter key to kept scrolling by and scrolling through it to see if there was anything interesting that popped up. And I see like some JavaScript code. I see some other things that don't look particularly interesting other than Yandex searches that looked interesting. Um, and I kept going through here. And one of the ones that I saw eventually, also other than all these JSON objects that look peculiar, but they're probably just for a technical thing. The creation underscore flags variable is probably used for some code that it does. Um, but I kept rolling through here, all these JPEG, I'm oh, sorry, these PNG images. And now I find this interesting thing in that they search YouTube, they see a youtube.com search query, flag CTF, some interesting, some interesting here, go, go, be bolder. 
<laughs> the fact that it has CTF, I'm like, oh, okay, this looks very, very clear. This looks like I clearly have the right thing. So they had searched that through YouTube, and I tried I tried this as the flag, and that didn't work. Um, so, but since they had searched it on YouTube, I was like, okay, can I can I recreate that? Can I do that exact same thing? So I do, I Googled it. I think finding it on on YouTube is just as equally as fine. But I had just ran it through Google. Flag CTF some interesting go here, and we get this YouTube video, which is six seconds long. <laughs> and this must be it. It says, uh, description is well done, you are find me, and the video uh, has this, this, this image here that says flag, a little bit of magic. So that's it. That is our flag that we can submit. And you saw that in the uh, text that I had, the solution that I jotted down. But that's really all I did. I didn't do any like extreme. I didn't use any cool or fancy uh, forensics tools to be able to look at Google Chrome and recover Google Chrome's like data settings and uh, stored cache and stuff like that. I literally just ran strings on everything and looked for flag. <laughs> so um, that's what I had done. I hope to know. I wonder if anyone like once the write ups actually release for the CTF or if anyone can fill me in on some cool utilities or cool tools to be able to recover like Google Chrome data and stuff like that. Uh, until then, I guess I'll just deal with strings on, on, on everything. But there's our flag. You can submit that and get 500 points. So uh, a good a good challenge. But just an uh, interesting, unique, uh, interesting tactic. Um, interesting and unique tactic. Sorry, jumbling those words there. Uh, is just running everything through strings. You can do that with the find command and just looping through every single one of them. So, sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying these, and I'll see you in a later video.